guys, welcome back to No Catchy Name. It's me, Ella. Today is Tuesday, the 20th. <laughs> uh, June's playing with the box. Don't worry, I took the metal cutty part off. I ran out of parchment paper earlier. I'm making cookies. And I did remove the metal teeth before I gave it to her. Anyways, uh, I haven't hopped on here in a while other than Vlogmas. So I wanted to come on here and show you some of my finished objects that I made for the people who don't watch Vlogmas. And uh, I got a few cards here that I got recently that I'm going to go ahead and show today. But uh, yeah, so um, I haven't been crocheting a whole lot because of the holidays and, you know, doing stuff. But I did get a few finished objects. So my first one is like a big, uh, bigger emigrimi that I love. And I'm so glad I made it. It is a free pattern by Olive at Stringy Ding Ding. And uh, it's just adorable. It's called the Yule Log Dog. I did show this in my Vlogmas, but I haven't showed it in a regular video. He is so cute. I love the texture of his body. And it worked out pretty quick. The longest part was his body, I think, making it back and forth. But yeah, his body is made out of um, Red Heart Cafe Latte and white. And then this is Patty Green and Cherry Red. And his ears are just black. I did use safety eyes. I forgot to use a safety nose. Uh, so I will stitch on a little nose eventually, maybe. I don't know. But he's so cute. I just love him. <laughs> so he'll be living in my living room probably every year for Christmas decorations. The next time I made, I didn't use a pattern. I just came up with my own thing. And it was for the uh, swap that me and Terry's doing from Your Android Podcast. So here it is. It's, just a, it's supposed to be a bear, but the nose makes it look like a mouse. <laughs> but I think it's pretty cute. I may wrap this pattern up eventually, just not right now because it's the holiday season and I'm busy. But uh, this is yarn that Terry sent me in one of the packages. And she sent me this little beaded garland stuff and a jingle bell. So this is what I came up with. Um, for that challenge. But again, there's no pattern. And then the rest of the time I've been working on snowflakes. <laughs> I've been using scrap yarn that I was gifted in my Christmas swap that I'm doing with uh, Jen. And uh, we're already planning on doing one next year too and a Halloween one for next year. But I can't remember if I've already showed some of these. But I made some just solid white ones. This is a free pattern by Yarn Inspirations. I'll link it down below too. It's a PDF download. And these ones are glittery and white. There's three of them. And then this one is some white and silver because <laughs> we had scrap balls that had multicolors in it. And then these three are silver. They're a little bit smaller because this yarn's a little bit thinner. And I still have some silver yarn that I'm going to make more with. And I have blue glitter yarn that I'm going to make some with too that she also gifted me. And I think I'm just going to eventually weave in all the ends and make garlands out of them to hang up like next uh, Christmas time, winter time. I think that'd be pretty. That's all I've been crocheting on lately. Um, I want to start a new doll, uh, 18 inch doll pattern, and I'll be doing that um, here soon. I put up three in one of my last videos, and it was the Minnie Mouse one, the birthday one, and the scrubs, and I took votes on it, and the birthday one won. I'm trying to see where my little notepad is. I had a tally. I'll have to get it later, but I had it tallied up, and the birthday one, I got, I got like 30-something votes. The mini one got was second place with like 20-something, and then the scrubs was in third place with like... <laughs> amount of votes so it's pretty cool so I'm definitely gonna make the birthday one I'm gonna start it up here soon I just got to figure out what colors I'm gonna use for it but then um, we got a little bit of happy mail cards here this is from um, someone Devin works with and this one is from Mary I love this one <laughs> he's wearing an ugly sweater and on the inside of it it says um, may all your sweaters be ugly and bright <laughs> I've gotten so many cards with cats on it this year that's such a cute card. This one's from Ashley, and she has a channel called Casually Crafted on YouTube. And this is, first of all, the card is super cute. It's like uh, vintage looking. I don't know if it is actually vintage, but it looks pretty and vintage, which I love. And she also sent an ornament. This is the only ornament I've gotten so far this year, but I love it. And all the ornaments I've ever gotten from any of you over the years are all on my tree, so this one will be going on there too. It's very pretty. And then another cat one. I got so many cat cards this year. <laughs> it's funny. This one's from Anjanette and Family, and she sent this one, and it's Bob, and it's the bells on Bob's tail, they're ringing. <laughs> oh, that's funny. And she also sent some teas. Let's see here. Peppermint and Christmas in Paris. And then the last thing I got was a postcard, which is Happy Holidays. This is from Erica. I think next year I'm going to do postcards. I'm going to go on one of the websites and design some that's like crochet related but Christmassy and send them out that way because that way it's cheaper because the postcard stamps are cheaper than regular stamps and uh, be easier to 
you know, I want like a yarn related Christmas card next year. That's my plan. We'll see if I actually do that. <laughs> but anyways, so that's the little bit of cards I got. There's some more in the post office I got to go pick up eventually, but not right now. <laughs> I forgot I wanted to put in my ball bands for this year. I don't think I used as much as most people do, but I might count them real quick and then come back at you. <laughs> All right, I counted them and there are 44 in there, which I think is pretty good for me because I usually use a lot of scrap yarns. And that's 44 balls of yarn I took out of my stash this year. And I only purchased two balls of yarn this whole year. And their ball bands are in here because I purchased them to use for my Halloween countdown. And I ended up using it. So, um, I think that's pretty good. My my stash is looking a little depleted, especially my uh, solid colors stash. So, I might have to buy some next year for like certain projects. But I still have a lot of yarn to use up. I have a lot of variegated yarn. And actually, one of my friends, Connie, um, from Connie's... Crafty Corner, Connie's Crochet Corner, I can't remember. She um, is going to be giving me some more yarn at some point. She said that she's gone through, because she just moved, she's gone through her sash, and uh, I might get some of her yarn. So, I'm excited, but that's what I did this year, so that's pretty cool. So, now I'm going to be saving them for next year. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and hop off here, and I'll see you guys in another video. Bye, guys.